Assault-style rifles like the popular AR-15 remain hanging on store walls, while the fate of Illinois' ban on those weapons hangs in the balance. Today, a three-member appeals court panel hearing arguments from attorneys involved in six consolidated lawsuits challenging the ban. Deputy Solicitor General Sarah Hunger arguing for the state set of AR-15s. These are not in common use for self-defense. They are instead, she said, offensive and militaristic. The hearing coming less than a week from the one-year mark of the mass shooting at the Highland Park 4th of July parade. Today, supporters of the state's assault weapons ban, including a survivor of that shooting, rallying outside the courthouse. Gun violence and mass shootings affect entire communities. Aaron Murphy, representing many gun groups, argued our history and tradition is one of protecting weapons that are in common use today. Americans own an estimated 24 million AR-15s. Judge Diane Wood noting in response, it's unusual to have a popularity contest determined what is constitutional. It, it ought not be just a popularity contest in time, right? But plaintiffs, including the owner of Naperville's law weapons and supply store, said the assault weapons ban was about penalizing many law-abiding gun owners for the heinous crimes of a few, and he said this fight is far from over. It's illegal and it's, it's hurting us, you know, and I'm tired of it and we're going to fight till the end. Right now, we believe we're confident we're going to win here in the appellate court. If we don't, we're going to take it to the Supreme Court. What's unclear at this point is how soon the Court of Appeals might issue its ruling. Judge Easterbrook called this an extremely difficult problem and he said the court will take it under advisement.